We now cross live to Kogi State, where the People's Democratic Party is holding its campaign rally ahead of the November governorship election in the state. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my colleagues, governor here present. Serving and former members of the National Assembly present, PDP National Chairman, other members of the National Working Committee here present, Chairman PDP Kogi State, and other party chieftains here present, Kogi State PDP gubernatorial candidate. Senator Dino Melai and his running mate, other important personality, I recognize the former Senate President Oloye Dr. Bukola Saraki. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. PDP, ladies and gentlemen, for the past 16 years, PDP has not stepped into this area, organized area here. Today, 
We have broken the chains. Today, God has answered our prayer. And we know it shall be when we PDP here. Oluwa mi modupe. Oluwa mi modupe. Oluwa mi modupe. Modupe, modupe, modupe. Modupe, Oluwa mi modupe. Oluwa mi modupe. Oluwa mi modupe. Modupe, modupe. You know, for those who don't understand what I'm saying, we are giving thanks to God. We are giving thanks to Allah that I declare today, today is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. What I'm telling you today, we want fairness. We are in central here. Central, they have done it for eight years or so. The East have done it. It's now the turn of West, right? Everybody say West. 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 You know, I'm from Oshu State. Same thing happened in Oshu State. When it's time for West, they cheated us. But we come back stronger. And today, as our slogan is called Imole. Imole means light. I have brought light to Kogi. And when light comes, darkness vanishes. Kogi will see a new dawn. Come November 11, I want you all, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. This is democracy. Nobody is going to hurt you. Everybody should go and vote and stay with your vote. What we're going to be campaigning, we will campaign on issues. We are not fighting anybody. We want to tell the people of Kogi that we can do better. That is what we are doing. In terms of infrastructure, in terms of agriculture, in terms of uh, 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 Everything that that Kogi have been missing. When you compare, when PDP was in government, I want you to compare. I you know to up with now, so I want. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. For what I've seen today, Kogi, are you ready? I can hear you. Are you ready? If you are ready, say Dino, 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 Dino. Dino, 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 PDP, PDP, PDP. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What I'm saying, uh, thank you. Hello, thank you. Hold on, hold on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We love you, we love you. Thank you. We love you. What I'm saying, is that Kogi, you should not be afraid to go out and vote. Nobody will hurt you. Nobody will do anything.
Because this is democracy. You are exercising your right to vote. And I know you will vote for PDP, right? Now what I'm saying is that when you vote for PDP, you vote for prosperity. When you vote for PDP, you vote for rule of law. When you vote for PDP, you vote for due process. That is what we know PDP. PDP is the real um, party. It's the real progressive party. They can be saying they're progressive. What do we mean by progressive? Progressive is when your people are happy. Progressive is when you are doing things for your people in terms of health, education, in terms of infrastructure. That is what is meant when we say progressive. And when you go and check, that's what I call fact check. Go and fact check it. Compare when PDP was there and now. You will see PDP is for, is for you. And I urge you, don't be afraid once again. We are here for you. We leaders, we will back you. Nothing will happen to you. On that note, I will now call on the National Council. Uh, another, another National State Council. Campaign Council to please rise. I want everybody to rise where you are standing, staying. I want everybody to rise, all the national state campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kogi, I hereby inaugurate you in the name of the Father, the Son, and in the name of Allah. Thank you very much, and God bless you. I love you. Thank you very much, PDP. Kogi, you heard the executive governor, the man who defeated IPC in Oshu State. Square only defeated IPC. And our own Dean of Melaya will defeat APC in this state. The inauguration of the State Campaign Council has taken place. We invite the Director General for two minutes to give his offer of acceptance. Prince Inua Iyodo. Hello. PDP! PDP! Ah, it's, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay now. Hello! Hello, are we together? PDP! PDP! Power to the people! One Kogi! One Destiny! Hello? Uh, Your Excellencies! Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Washington State and the chairman of the Kogi State Campaign Council. I want to ask for permission to observe all protocols. And in accepting our uh, uh, inauguration and the offer to serve in the Campaign Council, we want to pledge our total loyalty to this party and to ensure that we work assiduously to deliver Senator Dino Melaye as the next governor of Kogi State. All the members of the campaign council have continuously affirmed their support, their loyalty, and their commitment to working fully for the delivery of our next governor, Senator Dino Melaye. So it, we pray that all of us collectively will work from, for all, from all the senatorial zones to deliver our candidate. Uh, as we start this campaign today, I know that from what I've seen so far, there's a sign that 
this campaign is going to go from strength to strength. And as we move to the next zone, it's going to be much stronger than it is. And we're going to overrun Kogi State and deliver Senator Dino Melaye. PDP, power to the people. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to invite Omoye, Omoye Mi Olumuji to introduce the candidate. But before she comes up, I want to invite the following to come to the podium for one, one minute, please. Uh, the state woman leader, Hajia Bilkis Onusaba. State youth leader, Honorable Joshua Adejo. Honorable Abdurrahman Badams, former House of Rep member, Kogi is Tom Zachary, and we also have on the podium former SSG and former House of Rep member uh, Ahmad Inusa Musa Amadu, and then former Deputy Chief of Staff Shola Akomode. Please come up now for time. Please, Honorable Abdurrahman Badams, I called you. Honorable Joshua Dejo, I called you. Tom Zachary, I called you. Haji Abis, I called you. Now, Oweyemi Olumuji, spokesperson of Dino and Dean Campaign Organization, we introduce Senator Dino Melaye to us. Madam? <laughs> PDP! PDP! One cookie! One cookie! Dino! Dino! Honorable Dino Melaye is an astute politician. He was born in Kano and he schooled in Gandude Primary School, Kano State. And he attended Abdulaziz Atta Memorial College. Hey! And he attended ABU. And he has a law degree from Bayes University. He has an MSc in International Relations and Policy Management. He has certificates from Harvard. He has a PGD from University of Jos, Conflict Management. He was appointed um, to lead the Youth Parliament by Obasanjo. He was in the House of Reps. He was the Chairman Committee on Information and National Orientation Agency. He was a he uh, was elected senator in the 8th Senate. He was the chairman FCT, and he was elected senator in the 9th Senate for the first quarter, and he was chairman aviation, and he holds over 31 traditional titles, among which are Jama Okuta, Bobongwe of, uh, what's this place now? <laughs> But we have Obajano and his Bellu Row, so many titles. He's an intellectual mobile fine boy, he's a global citizen, and he knows what time it is. May I please introduce to you, by the grace of God, the next governor of Kogi State, Senator Dino Melaye. Thank you very much, Amoyemi. State woman leader, please. One minute, one minute. BDP. His Excellency, please permit me to speak my dialect. I want to speak a bit to the good people of Okede, the good people of Central. Youths, Allah, Daniel Melay, candidate. I Daniel, November 11 is the D day. Asanya in the Yangwa. All the time can you say happen? 
Inshallah, yeah, wash on a woman who got house. I go for a stop in percentage salary, nene. Why only ten ten percent to head on, nene? No, I go for my men you need you. That just a borrow, nene. That I come with you, nete dira. I'm only as I buy God on me. I'm a simple simple life, I'm saying, Alhamdulillah, we are still very much on way in. PDP. Thank you very much. Stay, you need that one minute, please. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That is to show how the central love our candidate, distinguished Senator Dino Melaye. If you want to vote for Dino Melaye, let me see your hands up. Your Excellency, distinguished Senator Dino Melaye, by the special grace of God, come November 11th, our elected governor of Kogi State. I want to assure you, on behalf of Kogi State youth, that we are going to come out in a mass to vote for only candidate. And that candidate is Senator Dino Melaye. Thank you and God bless all. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Central Zone, Honorable Abdurrahman Badans, former House of Rep member. One minute, please. A PDP! PDP! Hey, oh, no, no, no. Your Excellencies, I just have two prayers. One in Ibirala, in Ibira language, and the other one in Quranic language. Oh, Borihi, Abo, Abo, Nyangada. Oh, Borihi, Abo, Abo, Nyangada. We thank God, Madope, Nangode, Anna, Nangode, Anna. Oh, sir, I'm about now one. I do have in a Sibuna la who won't need money, Wakin, who need money, Mola, or Niman, Nasero, a Sibuna la who won't need money, Wakin, who need money, Mola, or Niman, Nasero. Thank you very much. On behalf of the East Zone, Tom Zachary, former member of House of Rest. One minute, please. PDP! PDP! Power to the people. Today, we are here to witness another epoch-making program of PDP. November 11th, November 11th, what do we expect from you? Umbrella, P, D, vote Senator Dino Melaye. For one Kogi, one Kogi, Kogi is an indivisible state. So it's Dino that represents the Kogi. God bless you all. Vote Dino Melaye. Vote Dino Vote one destiny, vote one United Kogi State. Remain blessed. Ah. Yahaya Karaku, aka Obama. One minute. Hold on.
our national chairman, Your Excellency, the governor of Oshun State, Your Excellency, our former state president, Your Excellency, the action governorship candidate of PDP, Senator Dino Melaye. Every other personality here, yes, you are all welcome to Kogi Central. Especially Okene local government. Your Excellency, sir, you have come to see us, and we, we are going to prove to you that we are indigenous of the land. Oh, they can't time. Oh, they will do it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, they will do it. 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 All of you that are here today, not your wife that you like, you marry, you women. Not the man you love, you marry. Yeah. Why my own come different now? <laughs> <laughs> Want to put Dino in the hand of God? A God that gives. We fear no fall. We know the day every individual are created. God has already designed how you are, go you are, com you are going. We are coming back to Him. So I'm assuring all of you, we're not, going to insult, we're not going to insult anybody. All we want to prove is freedom of choice. I'm begging all of you. Dino, nyame, nyame koko. Because Dino, nyame, nyame koko. Adeleke, nyame, nyame koko. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's the immediate pass. Local government chairman of Okada State. Okada local government. On behalf of Kogi West, we invite Alaji Musa Amadu, former SSG and former House of Rep member of Kogi. One minute, sir. PDP! PDP! All protocols observed. I have been sent by the people of Kogi West to say just two things. The first one is to thank all of you from the East and Central for the support that you have given to our son Dino Milae so far. We rightly believe that it is the turn of Kogi West. And you are showing it with the support that you are showing us. It's obvious that you also have, you have keyed into that belief. We thank you. The people of Kogi West thank you and thank you and say you should please continue with this support to the end. The second message from the people of Kogi West is to ask those of you that have not keyed into this project, that has not keyed into the reality that it is the turn of Kogi West. So please come on board. Kogi West have been very, very uh, helpful in bringing up all the governors that have come into Kogi State so far. We have supported people from the East. We have supported people from the West. 
So we are asking for those of you that have not, that have not kicked in, please come and work for us. Let us have Kogi, a, a governor from Kogi West so that at least we will have finished the rotation. We thank you. God bless you. And on that day, don't forget, you vote for our candidate, the best of the candidates, Dino Melaye. Thank you very much. We invite the former deputy chief of staff to president, Prince Shola Komode. One minute, sir. PDP! Power jaw! Power jaw, jaw, jaw! Hey, Your Excellency, the Governor of Ocean State, Senator Adeleke, Your Excellency, the former Senate President and former Governor of our former state, uh, Your Excellency, the Chairman and members of the National Working Committee, we want to thank you for gracing this very unique occasion. Very unique in very many ways. When we did the 2019 election, we didn't have a single campaign of PDP in this senatorial district. Today, we are here and we are well. Then, uh, I want to thank our people in the central. You can see it took us about an hour to drive from the Federal College of Education to this venue because of the large turnout of people to welcome us. We in the West, we have embarked on a very serious business. The last time we had this kind of opportunity with a PDP candidate was in 1999. We also know that given the best scenario, if we miss this opportunity, we may not have this kind of opportunity for another 16 years. And so we are determined to take this governorship. I don't want anybody to get worried about the fact that we have two other candidates in, this, in the West. The people in the West are very enlightened. They are very sophisticated. They know what is at stake. And like the late uh, Umbadiwe used to say, when the come comes to become, we shall all come out. And that will be very soon. We are giving you, the state, one of the best candidates we have produced in this state for governorship. Erudite, vivacious, uh, crowd pulling, youth friendly, women friendly, and we have sat him down. Yes, women friendly. We have sat him down and told him what we want from him in the area of local governments, in the area of agriculture, in the area of education, and so on. And you have seen his manifesto. We are not just bringing you a candidate because we think it's the turn of the West. We want to bring, we have brought you a candidate who can turn Kogi State around and put us to where we ought to be as a people. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. PDP! The last but not the least speech, and then the entire national campaign trail will come to the podium. We invite on behalf of the former governor of uh, Kogi State, His Excellency Brian Idris, will be represented by immediate past chairman of Kogi State of PDP, Engineer Sam Ohoto. Why the national chairman, former Senate president, and all the national members of the working committee will start making their way to the podium together with the incoming governor and everything will be done in a jiffy so that we don't keep you in the sun. Engineer Samohoto, please.
Kine Samo Hoto. Engineer Samo Hoto, we are waiting. Samohoto, please. Immediate pass, State Chairman, PDP Kogi State. He is speaking on behalf of the former governor who is unavoidably absent. Before I do my protocol for this great Nigerian who are sitting over there, and then I will make a PDP at the board, board, one who are on the Kibuli, or do ya, ya, or do PDP, or do one who are on the Kibuli, or do ya, ya, or do. We thank Almighty God for today. Your Excellency, the wonderful chairman of the campaign council, our amiable son, who is doing so well, who is doing so well in Oshu State, and we have taken all the time to be here today. May God bless you abundantly. Your Excellency, the father of reconciliation in Nigeria, the best president that I know Nigeria will have sometime, by the special grace of God. The former Senate president I'm talking about, distinguished senator, who called us on it's a pleasure to have you here. My chairman, my national team chairman and his escort and his national working committee, you are all very welcome here. I'm not going to talk so much. For those people who are from Okuland, who are here for this, I want to give you a song. Omo eni koshi di bebere. Omo eni koshi di bebere kafi leke si tobo elu miro teni ni teni yo. I hope you understand my message. When Dino is in government house, nobody will stop any of you from entering government house in Lokoja. Can you enter government house now? We don't need to talk so much about this. And I want to assure you, and I say publicly here, there is no agenda. agenda. We are here for power rotation, and it's time for West to have their governor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, PDP. That is the end of Goodwin messages from the states. We invite the former Senate president, former governor of Kwara State, his Excellency Senator Bukala Abubakar Saraki Olaye. Please make a round of applause.
Your Excellency, the Chairman of the Kogi Campaign Council, and uh, my brother, performing Governor Noshuse Senator Ademola Deleke, the Chairman of our great party, and the members of the Working Committee, our candidates, the gifted, committed, Senator Dino Milai and the running mates and the good people of Kogi. I'm very happy to be here in Okene here today to join you in that journey. You shall allow come 11th of November, you'll be celebrating in having Senator Dino Milai as the next governor of Kogi State. I only have four messages. Message number one, let me first thank all the people of Kogi that have stayed with PDP and stayed with Senator Dino Milai. I say so because some of you did at the risk of your lives. There are those who are not here today, are your former woman leader. It is time for us to show that they did not die in vain. And that is why come 11th of November, please you all come out to finish this work. But before then, I must thank all of you for what you have done and you have made us proud. Number two, look at all these candidates. Can you compare? One has been House of Rep, he has been Senator. When he speaks, you know that he has he Sabi work. Have you know Sabi? Meanwhile, the others, the others, one, they send a local government auditor. No, this is the problem about this country. People where Sabi work, you will not give them work to do. Then we are wondering why we are suffering. It's not because Dino is my own. Look at their CV. Did they compare? Let's follow the person where Sabi wrote, though. May we not give this vote to Dino. Because you know so Dino go go there or go do work. When Senator Demola with the campaign for him, they say, I just they dance. You know they work now? You know they work now? Dino go dance, he go sing, he go walk. So, number three. Number three. This election, I want to make an appeal. For some of us who are not here, who are watching us, who have been with PDP, who have been with Dino before. There is no human being who is perfect. Too. There is nobody, I'm sure, some of you still Dino could not vex before. But waiting there ahead of us, he passed that. Me too, I'm here and I don't become Dino. Dino don't vex me before. But for the love of Kogi, I'll come here and I'll support Dino to make sure he win. So I want to appeal to all our elders in PDP. Some who are here, some who are not here. Whatever Dino might have done for you, for the love of people of Kogi, let us forgive Dino and let us go and vote to and support Dino. This is my appeal to everybody. Because the way my people in Kogi are suffering, they are suffering. Let us leave whatever. Let us go and deliver somebody that can work and deliver for Kogi. And finally, for the people of Kogi, don't be afraid. Come out on that 11th of November. For the security agents, they will provide security. For INEC, this is your chance to redeem your image. This election is your time to redeem your image. Let the wish of the people stand on that day. And God be with us, Senator Dino Milaya will be the next governor of Kogi State. Thank you very much. <laughs> PDP, who hear from the man in charge of the North Central Zone, the National Vice Chairman of People's Democratic Party, Honorable Teoflos Dakashan, as he's speaking, the chairman, the Manhattan National Chairman, will come to the podium to present the flag. Also, with the governor, they will all come. We're also inviting the incoming governor to come along with them so that the main campaign is run. The deputy governor should candidate, incoming deputy governor, Kogi, Kogi Central. Deputy, no, deputy.
Gomno. Haji ya happy birthday. Honorable Joe Floss Dankashan, your zone. They want to hear from you before chairman speaks. Your Excellency, the National Chairman of our great party, my leader. Your Excellency, the Chairman of the Campaign Council and Governor of Washington State. Very proud of you. Gentlemen, can you hold on a little bit, please? Your Excellency, our leader in the North Central and leader in Nigeria, the former Senate President, the former Governor of Kwara State, Senator Bukola Saraki, a moon we are very proud of, a president that we will never have, but I believe there is still an opportunity that he will come. And we are looking up to him that one day he will save us, will redeem this party from where it is going now. The people of Kogi State, the time has come again. In 2019, we did so well, we worked so hard, and we were just robbed. Both were just written. There was no accreditation. The card reader was not working. This time around, there is accreditation. Please come out and vote. Because mostly in Central Koji that time, votes were written above what people actually collected the cards. This time around, that thing will not go. Don't stay at home and allow them to do what they did again last time. Because that was what happened in Kogi in 2019. I was here all through the election. I was on Ayingba, I came to uh, Kogi Central here, but because of the security reason, I had to rush back to Ayingba. God has given you another opportunity. Let us remove this suffering that we have gone through for eight years. You've seen it. I wonder why all the time we still keep, we think religion, we think tribe, we think the other things that do not really move us forward. Dino here is for everybody. Dino Dankanoni. Dino Yazona Kano Yai Kumako Inane Matin Yande Ko Inai Siga. Say, Dede Mutanian Koji West the Kuchi Nongum. May you have a dance of a locus in Kasancha Nongumba. So one and locus in Kuni. I can say, be key day, get him when he got an aka. An aka kuma, I get anka. I get an aka kuma, I chicken daiki kuma daiki kuma. Head a kanka. So look at the other, look at who was at the shiba. Kaku was at the shiba. So Kogi West, this is the time for you, those are of you that are here. And thank God I want, no, Kogi West, that's where Kogi, uh, Dino comes from. I'm speaking to people from Kogi West that are here with us. Let them carry the message back home. So, uh, we thank God that we hope Arnett will do the needful by trying to redeem himself, our leaders have said here quickly. So, with these few remarks, I want to thank you very much for getting time to come out here and listen to us. Pay the pay! Thank you. Thank you, Chairman, for the few remarks. PDP! We have on the stage now the acting national chairman of our great party, His Excellency Ambassador Umar Iliadamago, to present the flag to the incoming governor, Senator Dino Melaye, and his able deputy, Honorable Habiba Dean. Your Excellency, sir, your keynote. PDP. PDP. In fact, this DJ, this DJ is well placed at the right moment and is very intelligent person. You know why? Because we are in Kogi State. Because we have Dino Malai as our candidate. Because the chairman of the campaign council, everybody knows him as a rubble rouser when it comes to dancing. And if we come here and just 
talk and go without showing you our act, then something is missing. I want to use this opportunity to tell you, the people of Kogi State, that God has blessed you this time. The best time in all times in Kogi State is when you have governors of PDP extraction. All salaries are paid as at when due. Is the only person that gave you development throughout the time when PDP was serving in government. I want to assure you one thing I know about our party. You can see because of our level of uh, commitment to the people of Nigeria, this party is the only party that has all inclusive program that has taken every aspect of the society into governance from that we don't believe in, uh, what do you call it, uh, this religious uh, mentality or tribalism, you know, or some level of high-handedness that we are seeing now in governance. It's the only party that believes in rotation. It's the only party that believes you and me have the right at whatever opportunity we have to be and aspire to be what you want to be. This party is a truly democratic party. It believes in the tenets of democracy. We went into primaries, with uh, uh, about 10 people, and we conducted this primary peacefully, and Dino emerged as the candidate. The other parties, we know how they brought their candidates. Everyone knows it. Anybody like my uh, former Senate president said, you don't give what you don't have. There is a different between we and them. We have a candidate whose CV has been rolled out here for you to see and also for you to know which some you have already touched and knew, especially people from Bogi West. When he was member of House of Reps, he has done a lot of things for his constituency. The same thing when he became senator. And in fact, as a senator, he was not only doing for Kogi West, I have it on good authority that he has touched on all the other zones within Kogi State. Maybe that's why you gave him this slogan, one Kogi, one destiny. Because he's a believer of Kogi State. I want to use this opportunity to confer on you another title. He has that one title, right? I want to add another title for Dino at this occasion. That is the conqueror of Kogi State. I know it's a very good General, he will lead you to victory. But like others have said, it is time to take your destiny in your hand. Ogi has suffered a great loss in the last seven or eight years that has happened. Now God has given you another opportunity to do the right thing. Don't be intimidated. They have life just like you have life. So don't get intimidated. Come out and mass and board. And like someone has said here, 
to INEC. It is time to redeem your image. We'll watch carefully. We'll all be here. We'll be with you, come rain, come shine, till we we'll see that your bones are counted. With this, I want to seize this opportunity to give him the plug of our great party so that this plug will be symbol of victory for PDP in Kogi State. PDP! PDP! Music. DJ. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Want to invite, want to invite the incoming deputy governor to speak for two minutes and then hand over to the candidate. Honorable, Honorable Hannah to team, please. PDP. PDP Power to the people Women No women Walk on ye Walk on ye Walk destiny your Excellency, Shake and our incoming for that be. Please, I want all of us to stand for a mini silent prayer for our leader, 80, Senator 80 Ahmed. May his gentle soul rest in peace. And first of all, I want to congratulate my sister, <laughs> Chief Barista Natasha, for her tribunal victory. <laughs> PDP is coming to restore our lost glory. We are coming back to start from where we stopped. There's extreme poverty in our state, Togi State. And His Excellency, our Governor Toby, has made this clear that our agenda, if elected, is to develop Kogi State and also to improve the economies and welfare of our dear states. Women, are we ready to vote, Senator Dino Milae? I'm happy to see you. Your population say I want a man. Anywhere, anytime, I will be proud of you, women. Women, are you ready to vote PDP? Since our local government staffs, our teachers, our local government staff and teachers have been living in bondage since the resume of this uh, APC administration. I urge you all to come out 11 11 2023 to vote Senator Dino Melaye. And by the special grace of God, we will not disappoint you. Kogi West, are you ready to vote Senator Dino Melaye? Kogi Central and Wow, are you ready to vote Senator Dino Melaye? Kogi is here, are you ready to vote Senator Dino Melaye? Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you very much, the incoming governor, Senator Dino Mele.
Wan Kogi Wan Kogi Wan Destiny If you love PDP, clap your hands If you love Dino, clap your hands If you love Abiba and you will vote PDP If you love PDP, clap your hands because we are here today to celebrate the political obituary of APC in Kogi State. Today we are here to do inna lillahi wa illa. Please, everybody, wave your hands and say bye bye to APC in Kogi State. Bye bye to APC in Kogi State. Say what I want. Bye bye to Jati Jati. Bye bye to Passantejo. Insha Allah. Bye bye. Thank you. The the performing. Wonderful governor of Oshu State who took Oshu from darkness to light. The governor of Oshu who restored back the hope of the people of Oshu. Everybody give me three Imale! 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 All of you say thank you to this governor. All co-guys here just say thank you. Thank you, Governor Adeleke. I also want to appreciate the tallest president of the Senate in the history of the Senate. He, he is my ogre and I can tell you that the Senate president is tall everywhere. He's a tall man. This man is the last productive president of Nigerian Senate. During his time, there was a Senate president. During his time, there was a Senate. During his time, there was debate on the floor of the Senate. He is not a coward. Please, can we give him a round of applause? Book, Senator Bukola Saraki. Then the great unifier, the peacemaker, the performing acting chairman of our national party, who by the grace of God today have 14 governors, including Nasarawa by the grace of God in his pocket. Ambassador Damagun, please can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> Members of the National Working Committee of our party, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. On my behalf and that of the first female deputy governor of Kogi State, by the grace of God, we want to assure the people of Kogi State that I am coming back to Okene very, very soon to celebrate the victory of the emancipator, Sparista Natasha Akoti. Please give Natasha three closer. Give three Aya to our enemies. Aya. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to recall that I finish from the school where the stadium is being Abdulaziz Atta Memorial. I finished from, we used to the college University of Lambete. The great lion. What they taught me as a student in AMCO, they taught
taught me about unity. They taught me about love. They taught me about togetherness. They taught me about companionship. And that is what I am indoctrinated with. And that is why the slogan of our campaign is one Kogi, one destiny. It is sad that we are living in the evil forest today. A state where a permanent secretary is going to office on Okada. A state where a level 16 officer is being paid 22,000 Naira. A state where we have forgotten about development. For the past one year plus, pipe bone water have not dropped in the capital city of Lokoja. No roads, teachers are absent in our primary schools, hunger everywhere, pensioners are not being paid, promotion is not being cash backed, there is no league bonus. For the past seven years, House of Assembly members and commissioners have not been given one car, one car. I want to tell you and challenge the 21 local government chairmen in Kogi State. If any of them in the last seven years have seen a location paper with their eyes, a location paper, if any of them have seen a location paper, when I used to remember in this state, local government were doing, they were doing feeder roads. Local government, they were building culverts. They were doing boreholes. Local government, they were building health centers. Today, no local government in this state have dug one well. What I promise you, inshallah, by the grace of God, is that we are going to return local government administration back to the people. And I want to assure you that the Dean of Melaye administration, please, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. The Dean of Melaye administration will pay full salary. And we want to assure all those who have been sacked who have been sacked for no reason, that our government will restore you back to the workforce. You know that those that were sacked by APC in Oshun, today our governor has brought them back. The incoming PDP government will bring all of you that have been sacked back. Only in Kogi State, in one day, did the government sack 120 professors and lecturers in one day? It has never happened anywhere in the world. But we are going, we serve a God of restoration. And the party, PDP, will restore back normalcy by the grace of God. We shall provide security. We were told that we cannot come to Okene, that in 2019 we did not campaign anywhere. And I tell them, say, my name is Dino Melaye. We are going to come, we are going to meet, and nothing will happen. You do anyhow, you see. You do anyhow. This election. Hey, hey, if they try to rig us, Yahweh go day. If they try to rig us, everybody sour me for one time. I say sour me for two time. Me chionu, oti ko koti ko, oti ko koti ko, oti ko koti ko. Otigo, Otigo, APC, eh ya go, eh ya go, ya go, eh ya go, eh. Ah, ayama lele, ayama lele, ayam, ayama lele, ayama lele. Ofe je ba tole, 
Revolutionize our state. Anebira, wow. Anebira, have you know? Ma shomori, anebira, have you? Wow, kureka, wow, the stop. Ma shomori, ma chekare soan. Oh, mori, oh, shere wo. Mikai, oh, mori, oh, shere wo. Boruan, oh, kate wo. But please tell them that Dino is coming. Dino is, I assure us, agriculture, we will introduce mechanized and plantation agriculture. We are going to build farmhouses. We are going to recruit our graduates and give them hectares, hectares of land with new technological means of farming. We are going to make sure that all our mineral resources that we have in commercial quantities will be used to the benefit of the people of Kogi State. We are going to increase our revenue without taxing poverty. APC government is moving from shop to shop, from Mesuya to mechanic, and they are taxing them. They are taxing poverty. We are going to think outside the box. We are going to improve our revenue without taxing poverty. We are going to invest immensely in tourism. Kogi State, we are too blessed to be poor. We are going to attract tourism. We are going, by the grace of God, to restore back the Ajakuta steel, by the grace of God. The Ajakuta steel was established by Sir Sadona Amadou Bello. Amadou Bello is not from Kogi State. He is not even from the North Central. Yet, he came and established Ajaokuta and Itakwe Ion all. In our government, we will do everything possible. If possible, do a takeover from the federal government. Ajaokuta, during our time, must work. We must make sure that Itakwe Ion Hall is booming again. We are going to concentrate on education. We are going to invest in ICT. These days, ideas rule the world. We are going to make sure, that, and we know that apart from Ekiti State, Kogi State have the highest number of professors in this country. We are going to tap into this intellectual resource and then commercialize it, and revenue will be coming to Kogi State. All the way from Natako down to Jamata, you are going to have boat clubs. You are going to have marine transport. You are going to have crews. Today, no state in this country have what we have, like in Manpati. We are going to make sure that the Manpati, we invest in it with cable cars, with amenities, that all over the world, people will be traveling from everywhere to come and spend their dollar in Kogi State. We have a vision to transform our states. And I want to assure you that these Egyptians you see today, very, very soon, you shall see them no more. We assure you there will be a new Kogi state. We are going just like you have York. Before you have York, now there is New York. You have Zealand, now there is New Zealand. You have Thailand, now there is New Thailand. We are going to have new Lokoja because we are going to build four new districts that we are going to call new Lokoja. And by the grace of God, darkness will vanish and light will come. We thank you very much. There is no time to talk, but our campaign manifesto and our policy document have been distributed. Go and read it. And by the grace of God, we will make sure we implement to the latter every part of that manifesto. We are going to have independent Kogi State Commission that will be responsible for development. And we are going to look for credible people to man it. And I am not going to be a Christian governor. I am not going to be a Muslim governor. I am going to be a governor with the fear of God. If you have the fear of God, you will not pay percentage salary. If you have the fear of God, you will not kill. If you have the fear of God, you will not steal. If you have the fear of God, you will not be happy when you are driving on bad roads. We are going to make sure that we bring in a new order 
in Kogi State. I will not be an Igala governor. I will not be an Ibida governor. I will not be an Okun governor. I'm going to be the governor of Kogi State. This is a sample of our executive summary of our policy document. We have more than enough. Everybody will be given. And by the grace of God, we shall celebrate a new Kogi. We have respect for women. My deputy governor is, a, is the first deputy governorship female candidate in this state. The spokesperson of our campaign is a woman. So gender shall be respected. Women shall be respected. We are going to turn our women into communities and groups and empower them by the grace of God. The youth, this is your time. I assure you, I am going to work with the youth. This state will have the highest number of youth commissioners by the grace of Almighty God. I want to thank you immensely and I pray that just like you came here happily and successfully, you will go back home without any itch. God will rescue Kogi State. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, PDP. On this note, the National Campaign Council is wrapping up. May we rise from National Ante. Wake up. Pop.